Hi everybody, this is Liam Martin from Running Remote and in today's video we're actually going to be talking about something that I've talked about a couple times before but I think this one is really interesting and I actually think what I'm about to show you may actually make video calls fun again. It's called Project Starline and it's a project out of Google which I think is going to completely change the way that people interact with video calls and might give us a completely new understanding of how video calls interact with basically the work world and also just like the fun family world that we're obviously missing during COVID. So Project Starline was a project that Google was working on and I'm just going to show you the video because I think it's really, you have to see it to really understand it. Here it is. So imagine instead of looking at a screen, you're looking at a magic pane of glass. And through that glass, you're seeing another person on the other side. Hi, can you see me? Say hi to Auntie. Oh my gosh, I love you. Eddie. <laughs> <laughs> So you look beautiful. And then you just start having a conversation, just like you would if you were physically together. Like, I feel like you're here. This is wild. I can see that curl in your hair. I can see how your sweater is falling. Yeah. Yeah. And then you'll be saying, put on a little lipstick, Maury. <laughs> there are really three breakthroughs coming together here. One is the ability to capture people as they are. The second is the ability to compress that information and send it over existing networks efficiently. And the third, is the ability to render that person viewable through a three-dimensional display. So it really feels like you're talking with someone right in front of you. <laughs> we see this as a first step at applying technology to solve that really important problem that we often want to be together and we can't. Don't say goodbye, don't go away. That was mind-blowing. I've seen a lot, but I've never seen this. I felt like she was present and I felt like I was present in that moment too. It was like she was here. Now, I don't know if you noticed, but the actual machine, the piece of equipment that they required to actually run that 3D environment was massive. <laughs> I did check out the research on it and it looks like it requires a lot of equipment now to actually effectively deploy, but I could see this shrinking down into an advanced webcam that maybe you put on top of your computer and really getting some of that 3D interaction that you effectively miss when you're just doing a regular Zoom call. Is this applicable for businesses? I think so. I think being able to get that extra kind of intimacy inside of video calls will be a huge win when it comes to making synchronous time as productive as humanly possible. For those of you that don't know, I have a hierarchy of communication inside of my personal way of interacting with different employees at our technology companies, which basically is in-person is better than video, video is better than audio, audio is better than instant messaging, and instant messaging is better than email. As you move up the chain, you become more synchronous. As you move down the chain, you become more asynchronous. And I do believe that synchronous communication is needed inside of a remote organization. But more importantly, if you can make that remote communication as rich as humanly possible, that synchronous communication as rich as humanly possible, it makes for a faster and more insightful meeting. Even being able to like pull in a phone or pull in another presentation, be able to show people directly on a screen is probably going to be a killer feature if this can be rolled out at scale. No idea yet of where that when they're actually going to roll it out. This is really kind of just a proof of concept. But generally with Google, whenever they roll something like this out, it's usually three to four years before you actually see it in one of their products. So I'm pretty excited about it. I don't know about you guys. Are you interested in something like this? Would you pay more for it? I'd love to be able to hear it down in the comments below. And while you're down there, why don't you like this video, helps out the algorithm, and also subscribe to this YouTube channel because we talk about remote work stuff all day long. I'll see you in the next video.